So during my holidays I've uh, made a mistake of um, basically pressing too hard on this port on my my uh, quick charge power bank and um, I uh, broke this port right here. Uh, it's the Vinsic um, 20,000 milliamps uh, power bank uh, quick charge one which I was very happy with uh, for quite a while now and uh, so I decided to get a new one exactly the same thing and um, since I broke it I was thinking maybe I can fix it and also I was curious of what's actually inside it. A lot of these batteries have um, a row of uh, larger, I mean smaller batteries in here, the 18500 batteries and they can couple together to make a power bank. So this was basically pretty solid and uh, it took me a while to take it apart and uh, I was thinking I was going to break it but it's broken anyway and um, I'm going to disassemble it again and show you guys maybe what's inside basically this ring here with a little bit of power and uh, a bit of force will come off but uh, okay Just do, undo it Obviously you'd have some marks on it at the end, but for me it doesn't really matter anymore because like I said, I have a new one. So I'll try to pull this off. It will come out eventually. There you go. whatever tools you have. I use this blunt knife because it's easier and it's got a thick blade. So <coughs> this ring comes right off. It's got a couple of clips right here and right here which are quite um, secure to hold it in place. Then if you want to take this off you can. This little panel here it's just tuck on with some glue this comes right off and then you can see the little battery contact right here that shows you the digital display of the battery basically it still works it's charging all right and just this port right here has uh, actually broken because I've uh, put too much pressure on the cable and you can see it's quite bent the rest of it again it has clips alongside right here so the same thing I'm gonna just put my knife through here and uh, slowly undo this apart it might be helpful if you use some other tools but this is what I have right now so I'm not really that bothered run the knife along just unclip it and this is it and I'll do the same on this side you can see I've already done this because there's marks on the edge okay this is the battery opened up there is also a panel at the end here that is glued as well. This comes right off and you can see the half of the battery right here. Now don't pull too hard because it has a couple of contacts here that are connected to the battery pack itself and you might break that. What do you have? The circuit board right here with the ports and everything else and in inside basically there's two power packs, they stuck one on top of the other, right here, and they also glued with double tape on the bottom of the battery right now. I'm doing this, we'll just unglue the tape right there, this comes right off. 
this is what you have basically there's two battery packs uh, stuck together and uh, you have a 10,000 milliamps power pack I mean basically two of them at uh, 3.7 volts obviously the converter here to 5 volt and the circuit boards and like I said the reason I've got exactly the same battery as uh, yes I'm gonna put this right back now just snaps in blow this bit back then this bit and place the ring over the top snap it into place and should still be working I hope it still be wor work let's see if I plug this in into the port actually still works there you go it's still charging my phone only it doesn't charge on the fast charge right there <coughs> and as I mentioned I got the exact same one because when I tested it but this battery it had compared to other batteries that I have and tried it had the most accurate accurate um, uh, reading on the power charge it doesn't have 20,000 milliamps because obviously of the converter inside that converts from 3.7 volts to 5 so you lose some amps but in my tests before this was the closest to about 16,000 milliamps which is about a 20% loss very acceptable in this case and uh, that's what you get with any batteries really that uh, would convert from 2.7 volt to 5 and this is the new one I'm just gonna get it to charge right now and obviously place one of my stickers on that's the Vinci power bank 20,000 milliamps and on an offer it costs about 23 to 25 pounds.